Well, Mandya has a very special connection with the Yadunappa family. One is Mr. Yadunappa, who competes for decades in political uh, in Karnataka's politics, was born in Kerala, and now I'm joined here by Mr. Vijayendra, who is also the vice president of the Karnataka BJP. But right now, he is the convener of the Yuva Morcha across the state as Karnataka heads to elections. Well, he is, I can say, the man of the moment now for the youngsters because you all are galvanizing as much as support from the Yuva Kari Karthas as well and to also talk about what the BJP has done in terms of the welfare of the state. My first question to you, how is the Josh? It's beyond our expectation because I never expected, at least in Mandya district, as you know, Mandya is a strong home top for JDS as well as Congress. Yes, we were fortunate that you now we were able to win first seat in last by-election at Carpet, the father's birthplace. But beyond that, we did not penetrate much. But now, of course, there is a great opportunity for BJP, and especially uh, people of Mandya, more than cadres, people of Mandya uh, wants change. So we are hoping that at least in next assembly election, we will be able to penetrate in Mandya district. Well, KRPT is a wing that you have literally engineered when you were, you were, here, you were here for many months and then you the wind came through. Also in terms of how Mandya is swell, the kind of swell that is in favour of the BJP. I remember you saying that for every region in Karnataka, there will be a special Brahmastra in terms of strategy. What is the strategy for Mandya, especially the old Mysore region? So, you expect us to reveal our Brahmastra through TV interview. <laughs> But the fact is, the voters and people of Mandya district have been taken for granted by both Congress as well as JDS. People of this district were really looking for third alternative. And now they have realized that BJP is the hope for Mandya district and BJP is the only hope which can deliver on their promises. So, hence, people are looking towards BJP. But we should also see that this is a Vokaliga bill. This is a hard core stronghold of the Vokaligas, which traditionally has voted for the JDS. How do you plan to break into this kind of vote battle? That's the reason when I that's the reason where we try to penetrate in Kerpeta also. So as I told you earlier, Vokaliga community, of course, is the biggest vote bank for JDS as well as Congress. But they really feel they have been let down by Congress as well as JDS. For example, Carpet, out of 2 lakh 20,000 voters, 98,000 were Vokliga voters. And when we won, when we won with you know 9,600 votes, even Vokliga voters, community, they voted for BJP. So, including minority, Vokliga, Dalit, SCST. See, that's the reason why we always talk about inclusive politics. But here in Old Mysore region, that literally does not have any meaning in Old Mysore region. That is the reason why we, are, we have been successful in Kerpete. We are successful in winning the confidence of every section of the community. And that is the need of the art, not only in Kerala, more importantly in Mandai district. I need to ask you about the Lingayan community as well. Are they, they are upset. One is that the special region status hasn't been given. Also in terms of the, terms of the reservation that was promised has not been given. There seems to be a lot of uh, they're in double minds, in two minds right now. How how do you plan to consolidate the Lingayas? It's a fact that there are a lot of demands from the Lingayat community and also from other community as well. But everybody knows that many of the demands have not been fulfilled. But it doesn't mean that they are not going to get the status also. Okay. They are, because what we are telling is even tomorrow, it's BJP which is going to come back to power in Karnataka. Of course, we have a strong uh, leadership in Delhi, we have a central, uh, I mean, BJP government at the center. But in Karnataka also, in the days to come, it's BJP is, which is going to come back to power. On these grounds, we are convincing every sector, of the, every every community in the state, and we, all, we are trying to take everybody into confidence. So basically, and if, 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 if they have to get any justice, it's only through BJP only. So if you're saying the BJP comes to power, they will get a special religion status and they will get reservations as promised? So ultimately, it's, it's a call that should be taken by Delhi High Command as well as the state uh, top brass. But I'm sure justice will be done 
uh, in future. Four time Chief Minister, your father had stood and said that my son will stand for Shikaripura. Yo, are you, after being denied tickets in Varuna last time, in the last elections, do you think that this time there's a lot more in store for you? Apna de time aega? <coughs> so, more than father declared my candidature, what is more important is the entire cadres or senior leaders in Shikaripura constituency. Mm. They wanted father to contest one more election. But when father declared himself that he is not going to contest any elections further, then they demanded at least Vijayanur should fight from Chicago. So based on that, father has declared my candidate. This is one. Secondly, of course, I have been working in the party for the last couple of years. Earlier, I had worked in the party as a BJP state uh, general secretary. Yes. Currently, I am a party vice president, touring across the state. The party has given uh, other opportunity for me to do, tour the state. I am doing my job as a humble party worker. The rest is up to the party high command uh, to decide. You are making a very important point. You are touring across the state. What is that one thing that is clicking in favour of the BJP, you think? Your one is your ruling government. What else is in favour? We don't have any confusion. Not only we, the people of the Karnataka also, they don't have any confusion. They really believe, they strongly believe it's only BJP party which can deliver in future also in terms of development. So they strongly believe Modi ji government at the center. They strongly believe one more government in the state will take uh, the Karnataka in a development plan. You see how the campaign has the pitch has gone through where many leaders have said that it's going to be a Tipu versus Savarkar kind of a conversation now. In the public meetings also we have seen that being raked up. Is this not alienating the Muslim votes? So this opposition party is trying to build this narrative. But as far as BJP is concerned, we are pretty clear. We are approaching people. We are meeting people on the development front. We are trying to convince people how what center and state has delivered last couple of years and what we are going to deliver in future. So definitely BJP is moving ahead with the development plan. My last question, who is the biggest enemy or competitor, JDS or Congress? Sit. Both are equally important. See, when BJP is trying, trying its best to come back to power in the state, we should not take opposition as a weak. So definitely we have to consider both as you know, opponents and uh, definitely we will fight against both the parties. There is no question of any understanding with any regional party also. Our national leadership as well as state leadership. We are pretty clear how to move forward and we are confident the BJP is pretty sure to come back to Parliament. So one stone, two birds. <laughs> they want to destroy opposition in the sense people, they want absolute majority for Bharti Dinda Party in Karnataka. So we are also hopeful the way things, I mean the way we have been delivered, or the way we, uh, central government as well state has given so much of schemes to our state. We are confident that people will bless BJP once again in Karnataka. Well, clearly the BJP is in attack mode and they have decided that they are coming back as a single majority party to form the government once again on their own with no alliances. Well, finally, now the ball is in the people's court. Dhoni Swami in Mandya for CNN News 18.